more like R.L. Stein than you ever have before, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, he still lives alone, and boy, is he proud of it. Uh, and then that about is it. That wraps it up. Uh, until next time, folks. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, man. Do me a favor, people. Love you. Die in a fire. wrong with your face so they're not saying uh what, what did i say dot daddy <laughs> dot dad <laughs> what, what was uh, what was, uh, the idiot what was it uh oh the idiot <laughs> <laughs> texans are kind of like jews <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> I wow. got it. You know what? I think I think we got a title right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. That's a, that's an attention grabber. Wow, you guys do a show. <laughs> what do What do you mean? It's we like just a, show up and fart around. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what's funny is that Ron's like. I, I think I made mention to Ron that uh, that I was gonna send him the doc. <laughs> yeah. Um, and normally we haven't. This is like we. This is the second week of a doc, a show with an NSFW show doc, which basically just means that like, at the very least, any idea that me and Brian have together, I'll put in and uh, I will put in, I'll just write up a few silly ideas just so we have something to go to uh, if we don't come up with anything else during the course of the show. And uh, Ron's like, oh, I never got that doc. And then I just kind of realized, well, you like, you said it in the tweet. You, you DM'd me, and you're yeah. like, you're like, okay, cool. I'll share the doc with you. Now, wait. Now, on all about Android, we have a very organized oh, spreadsheet yeah. of like with timings mm -hmm. and articles and links and notes. When I, I when I was praising Jason, I wasn't kidding around. He he, oh, he no, produces no, no, no. that show. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, all right, this is a Twitch show. Clearly, there's a doc. Oh no. And well, I, is, I received is. no doc. We've ne we it took us 213 <laughs> episodes to have one. <laughs> but eventually we came up with one and now I've decided I like to wield it like a weapon <laughs> that like no, well, no I was, we, the well, guest doesn't get to see the doc well, that's why it's I, only for me and Brian and the jammer and like the thing is I've seen the show I know what to expect but you don't until you're in the seat you don't know what to expect like it's it's one thing to watch it's next another thing, thing to know, be part of it next thing you know you're you're calling Mac Frank Winkley a piece of garbage <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. I didn't say that. No, I didn't. no, 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 we didn't say that. He said very specifically, back break weekly. Well, let's be honest. I mean, how, how many years is, I mean, do we all, are we all wow, watching the same no, shows? Keep going. Let's, <laughs> just keep going. Um, no. At some point, you grow, you, you grow beyond a show. Let's just say that. <laughs> No, I love it here. No, I love it. I feel I feel like a, a member of the family here. I feel. Uh, <laughs> Jason Howe looking like one of the uh, the evil ghosts from the movie Ghost. He's gonna tackle Ron like Patrick Swayze. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's do let's do the the things here. Uh, you go ahead, Brian. Uh, oh, uh, are we gonna call it Texans are like Jews? No, or, oh, we let me shouldn't. look at the doc. <laughs> oh man, again, just massive, massive thumbs up for the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, that tweet was to, uh, uh, or text message was to Jason Murphy, who was inviting me to his wife's birthday party. And I got the text as we were on the chairlift. And so Bonnie uh, gave that to Captain Murphy. That's awesome. Uh, Pimpix, yeah. You, you go to work with that hair? <laughs> Let's see, we got not starting late. Picnic, also not starting late. Don't trust Brian Brushwood. Uh, we used to show animals banging. <laughs> what about these gnats? <laughs> these gnats? <laughs> Scrooge. See, it's not... It, it, when I was saying Scrooge, I, I was doing like here. I was doing... 
Scrooge McDuck. That's that's what I, that's what you were saying, right, Justin? Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to pronounce it funny, and then you took it in a really weird racial place. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, is it racial? I guess. <laughs> Julio, the astrophysicist. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, Ron was <laughs> Julio on the show. Julio, the that ass. Uh, Wait, Ron was on the show. Quote, <laughs> quote wife. A really good eater. <laughs> uh, dog punch kicker. <laughs> Any of those do it for you? Um, hacking the plebeians I like. Ass poking um, probability matrix. <laughs> Or Elise. <laughs> uh, I think I, feel I, like I don't know. Like hacking something, hacking the system. I like. This right. is a show about your show, and we're gonna have more yeah. shows about your show. Shows about shows. Hacking the, the plebeians. Let's do hacking the plebeians. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Nancy Stacy's not a slut. We don't even know her. Well, she's every. Well, let's be honest. Wait a minute. She's, you're she's 24. Every, every social media intern. I'm <laughs> just saying, you know, she's she's two years out of college. She's got her job because she can post on Twitter. Like, let's 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 be honest. Stacy, Stacy's down a ting. All right, here we go. This is NSFW episode 216, recorded on February 4th, 2014. Hacking the plebeians. Stacy's been hanging out with Roman Dial. Good, good God! <laughs> Tell you what, just saying. On this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by magician and host of Scam School, Brian Brusher. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. Because because you were acting like I'm somebody and that very thought was hilarious to no, you. No, it was not that. Stop it. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Actually, let's just keep it like that. Then let that be the intro. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, here we go. It's good. On this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by Ron Richards, he of AAA, all about Android and Image Comics. What do they do? Apparently, funny books. We get some legal advice for Brian Brush, who has a massive announcement. Also, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a great mind, a Twitter pud. We will find out on this edition of NSFW Show. Starting now. But I'm done. Oh, okay. Pass their more intense. <laughs> more uh, intensity. <laughs> All right, here we go. On this edition of NSFW Show, Brian's got a secret. What is it? It'll blow your mind. That's what it will. That's can will do be bop de ba de boom boom. <laughs> Yeah, let's take, take let's take the first one. The first one was fine. The first Double one was fine. Complete we'll the rainbow. First one. We'll take one. We'll, we'll do. We'll take one. Double complete rainbow. On this edition of NSFW show, we are joined by Ron Richards. Is he Puerto Rican? We'll find out. Also. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. Hold on. Double complete rainbow. That was Padre, by the way. Padre was like right in my face, slapping the table like it was the Apollo Theater. Um, on this edition of NSFW Show, we are joined by Ron Richards of AAA and Image Comics. He gives some legal advice to Brian, who has a secret project that he will reveal. Also, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Has he shot to the stars with his big head of ego? We find out Twitter style. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. This time with more words. 
Rapa. Also, a <laughs> shadowy Jason Howe. Uh, so we, uh, Brian, we should really start getting the, um, getting the old movie draft together. Getting the news out. Oh my God. Is it already time? Well, I guess really within them, but just over a month. I right? really want to blow this month. I want to blow this one out. And here's an idea. Let's not wait until the week before the first movie comes out to frantically try to find people and uh, and just can be shut down because like they really want to play, but they can't. All right. Well, do so it. so first of all, I, first of all, we have to give uh, one slot to uh, to Padre S J as a champion of this of the winter draft, right? Of the Puerto Rican league, of the, the winter draft, right? Yeah. The one true winter draft. Um, People Tom are Merritt. like having female children. People conceived, brought to term, and birthed female children that are going to Frozen right now. Do you realize that? It is like an estrogen industrial complex that just pours money into Padre SJ's coffers that lost $20. me the winner $20 movie he spent on it. $20. Frozen. They announced the musical, the Broadway musical. I just got the songs out of my head. Are the girls, are the girls into Frozen? No, I mean, they liked it okay. But they, they, you, you, you know, that's I the think, Frozen dance. Apparently, apparently, yeah. Uh, Julio deGrasse Tyson was in the house uh, before Padre. I, I spent the majority of December and partial of January with with. Do you want to build a snowman? Stuck in my head, like on repeat. I only saw it once. Did you know that Disney did a sing along version this past weekend? And it that, made bank. And it made tons of bank. Yeah. It like a, a full on karaoke version that kids went and screamed their heads off and sang. That's some good thinking at Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a really good thinking thing to just take to, what the Alamo Draft House does uh, yeah, yeah. every weekend <laughs> and market it to children and do it themselves. That's a really smart idea. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, no. It's it's uh it, it's a, it's an absolute cash cow and uh it's it blew me out of the out of the freaking water. Oh, man. Um, well, don't don't beat yourself up. Nobody saw it coming. Uh, <laughs> oh, Billboard, I Billboard, guess the Billboard. Executives right. that... Here we go. Um, this episode of Double Complete Rainbow. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Ting.com. Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay only for what you use. Ting doesn't require a contract and offers unlimited devices on one shared plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. And Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free two-week trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW2. And Pro XPN. Pro XPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to proxpn.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. Ring a ding diddly ding dong do. Brian, I'm going to the ABQ tomorrow, bitch. What? Are you going to go sightseeing well, you know, with your blue meth? I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Like, I, I get there early tomorrow, and then um, uh, I, I, I would have to figure it out the day after. But I do want to go at least stop at, like, the Hardee's that used to be um, uh, the Pollos Hermanos. Pollos Hermanos. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. Like that, that kind it's of thing. It's probably gonna look like a Hardee's. That that kind of thing. Uh, like if I'm there and discover that I'm there, I'm always like, oh, hey, look at that. That's cool. But it's like, I never think to go to do those things to travel to a place 
It was in a thing. I guess I'm also assuming that Albuquerque's not all that big, and I'm sure it's gigantic, and I'll look at a Google map, and it'll be uh, like 45 a... minutes to get to the stupid thing, and I won't want to do it. I think it's that gigantic. It's not big? Uh, Have you been there? No. No, come on, it's <laughs> Albuquerque. You know, what do you do? You just you get off the Verrazano. Yeah, yeah, I think a lap, know, and then you know, you're left, past Hackensack, yeah, and it's yeah. right there. That's what I found. A, yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of those cities between New York and California, uh, city is a generous term. Uh, I'll tell <laughs> you what. <laughs> uh, that's the thing, though. The thing about, about Texas, Texas is different than, than, the Texas pride is different from the New York pride because, A, it's like New York is really only about, like, Manhattan, and then like like the the, the no, Queens, Brooklyn. The boroughs have that. Yeah, they have oh yeah, no, they all have their own thing. But yeah. like the the, the seat the seat of the elitism is in Manhattan. Yeah. Like somebody from Queens or Long Island have more of an understanding that living in New Jersey is not a literal toxic dump. No. More than Manhattan. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. I grew up on Long Island and, and Jersey. No, 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 no. That's also a different thing. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what's weird no. to me is these bizarre distinctions they make. Like, like to me, uh, being in Texas and growing up in Texas, like when you leave a city and go to another city, you know it happened because there were buildings and then there were not buildings and then buildings started again. And that meant you were in a different city. This nonsense of you drive down and you turn on a corner and now we're in the Red Bank. And I was like, what? The, what? And I'm like, now we're in another city. It was like, that. It, it's, uh, it's called progress, dumb. Brian. Yeah. Seemed, <laughs> seemed dumb. Uh, no, I mean, that's, uh, yeah, I, I actually, uh, there's a, a Kurt Vonnegut short story that, that stuck with me about like. Oh, oh, it stuck with you. An overpopulation. <laughs> Listen, I would like to get a little. Hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, somebody hasn't met after show jury before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. wow. All of a sudden, wait, 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 really, let's let's talk let's talk about my literary literary reference. I'm uh, just uh, saying yeah, by the, Okay, by whoa, whoa, whoa. Where was this guy during the debate? The fact that you weren't able to take genuine bemusement at Justin saying something smart was like the most insulting thing I've ever seen for you. That was amazing. Like, no, it's adorable. Vonnegut, really. Uh, it's awesome. oh, you, How do you spell you, that? You read some Kurt Vonnegut, huh? You like the, you like the Slaughterhouse Five. Uh, <laughs> actually, this is from a short story collection. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, I, was... <laughs> I, I only enjoy the sonnets. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us. I'm just saying there was a there was a uh, thing about overcrowding, and it was about a family that all lived in one apartment, and it was like six generations of the family. And then I went to Texas. And I'm like, Kurt Vonnegut, you're a lying piece of dog poop, and this will never, this country will never be overcrowded. Right. That was written by somebody in New York City who didn't leave New York City all that much and was like, yeah, no, eventually we'll overcrowd this. Yeah. Because it makes sense if you're in the middle of Manhattan, you're like, oh my God, we're, we're crawling all over each other as it is. And then like in Texas, like Brian was saying, you drive, like there's a city, Stretches and then there's nothing. huge nothing. Huge nothing. And then there's another city. And you could really build another city in between where the nothing is. People just haven't gotten and around to it. Again, those cities are really big towns. I was in Des Moines and I made a right and it went from pavement to a dirt road. This is the state capital. Man, I and want there's this to a be a monologue. Road. I want this to be a solid 20 minutes of New York smug oh. from Ron XO. Oh, God. Ron and, why XO does everybody, and why does everybody want to talk to you? <laughs> like, I was, I was in Indianapolis, and I'm in a convenience store, and I, 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 I take my Snapple and my sandwich, and they go thing, and they're like, hey, how, how you doing? I'm like, I'm <laughs> fine. They're like, oh, I got a nice day out today. I love, I love, like, this is your example of the disgusting <laughs> friendliness of other people. Hey, how you doing? It's none of your effing business, exactly. sucker. No, let's talk more change. Like, this is... <laughs> it's like, I'm not... Hey, oh, oh! <laughs> talk it! Oh, come on! What's the change? I got things to do. I'm trying to get out of here. Oh! So that's what it's like to be me to travel around this great country. Is you talking more about the fact that somebody said five words to you while trying to make oh. your day just a little bit more pleasant? Don't make eye contact. Don't talk. Don't yeah. Nope. See, that's the thing. You guys. How many how many Alamo draft houses do you guys have in uh, 
in think, New York. I think they're getting ready to open the third, I think. Mm, <laughs> great. They're three in South Austin, sucker. <laughs> Boom! -boo! I actually haven't been to the ones in New York yet. Uh, no, wait, I think there's only one. I think the Yonkers one opened. There was some, the Upper West Side one project got delayed. I don't know what's going on with the Times Square one, but yeah. Uh, so. Hopefully, eventually, they'll like start doing the one in in San Francisco. That's been like yeah, dude, on the uh, we, horizon we said, since yeah, I no, moved here. Yeah, the mission too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they have the building. Apparently, yeah. it's like a building thing. Turns out in it's San Francisco, it's thing. annoying to build a building. It's annoying to do anything in San Francisco. My yeah. lord, they do not want you to do anything there. And then the talking to you. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> uh, no, you can't. You want to open a bar? You can't do that. No. You can't get a liquor license. Are you crazy? You can't smoke outside. Yeah. Well. He, you can't slaughter a pig. You can't, you can't make nine dollars an hour. <laughs> no, you if you do, no if you do, you have to get bust. And if you get bust, then you have a bunch yeah. of a bunch of Ugh. whiners complaining about how they're taking up public bus stops. <laughs> but you can smoke weed all as much. Man, as I'll you tell want. you what. That, hey. that, that is. <laughs> That is that is one of those things like and it, it's amazing how much time I've I, I never would have thought this. But in my adult life, like post 20 years old, I would say that uh, I guess Texas and really San Francisco have been the two places I've spent the most time. And uh, which is strange to me that that, you know, five days at a time, you know, over and over and over again for seven years or whatever. Uh, and it's really man, the Texan just comes out. I was like, what's all this? You can't do this. You can't do that. I do what I want. But then you can't because you're in San Francisco. You know, the one the one thing that I've always been very obstinate about from Florida is I don't see the point of open container laws, and I openly flout them. And I I especially drunk, I relish the time well, when I get to explain to somebody, uh, I'm sorry, officer. I'm from South Florida. I didn't know you couldn't do that. Well, that, that's like that's in, like, in Dave Chappelle fashion. That, that's like. That's have like, you done that? Uh, no, actually, I've always carried liquor outside. I've always carried open beer containers outside. And, and I've constantly ever you? been yelled at by my friends who were like, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm from South Florida. This, this is how it rolls. I've never been stopped by a cop. I've never been yelled at. Well, like, those are those are those regional laws that like I was in. I was in Louisville, I think. And we were going across the street and we were going diagonal. Like where we were going was over there. So I just started. Yeah, I guess jaywalking, as they call it, and my <laughs> and my and my friend was like, as the whoa. kids say, yeah. My friend was like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, we got to walk down to the crosswalk, and I was like, no, you just go where you need to go. Yeah. yeah. So hey, but, uh, you know what was wild, Justin? Is uh, you know this vacation that we took, we went to Snowbird, which means that just two days ago, forty-eight hours ago, I stood on the same mountain peak that you and me and Veronica and Ashley stood at yeah. during Nerdtacular. And it was it was How it was, was awesomely view? surreal. It was colder. It was colder. <laughs> a little bit more snow. Dude, you know we're gonna be back there in like four months. Like you you live your life in between snowbird periods now. Yeah, I guess so. I'll go twice a year from now on, man. I'm okay with that. It was awesome. It was really a, a good time. Uh, dude, that I, I was I was definitely uh, jealous. And it's funny. Uh, me and Asher were talking about maybe staying out there. Uh, in in Utah a little bit longer and maybe doing like some uh, outdoorsy stuff um, after or before, but figuring that out. You're talking about during during the summer, then go do some during of the outdoor the summer, yeah, hiking. Yeah, go and do stuff. more. Yeah, go do some uh, some fun stuff like that. But we'll figure it out. Uh, I guess we should wrap it up. Yeah, I'm gonna mosey. I get back to the city. Ron's so. gotta go. His, his yeah. car, I get back to the city. His go. car is zipping away. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It was a Dude, pleasure. Great hope... seeing you, Ron. Glad we finally made it happen, man. I hope I didn't ruin your show. No, you were freaking great. You, you were. Uh, you killed I mean, you, you didn't represent you Androids very well, Anna but that's fine. The show. You, you, talk to, you, talk, <laughs> you talk about the scenarios where people find out you're a fraud. This, being on the show, I was like, oh. <laughs> well, listen, I'll just, I'll just say this. Is if all of a sudden, a couple months from now, you tune in and the show's not here, it's your fault. <laughs> oh, oops. Dun-dun-dun. Oh. Uh... All right. Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm going to have to tap out on this one because I got to get back to... Because, uh, Brian, hey, I got, I got some news for you. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me... Give me, give me your Karnak. 
<clears throat> uh, crappy bagels, parking, first class. Open the envelope. Two out of three things that I will be experiencing tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. because I'm on Nay. U.S. Airways and not and not United. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you won't be getting first class? No, because I'm on U.S. Air and they don't bump me up. But when I'm on United, I get bumped up, and I will not have the chance to use U.S. Air uh, going forward because they're now going to be American Airlines. But uh, yeah, no, I got to go to Albuquerque at seven in the GD morning. See, I, I, I uh, man, I'm kind of jealous of the way you're getting to experience this because you always come in the day of or the day before, and it's like you're expected to kind of scope out the area, but it's like you don't have to be on or whatever. Like, that was rough, was leaving the morning of and then landing and then spending three hours setting up the show, and then and then here's the whole reason we're paying you this money. You better be good. And it's like, like that was that was rough. I, I, I would imagine it's a pretty fun gig being able to come in and relax like that. Uh, fun's a relative term. I mean, the gig's fun. <laughs> the travel isn't necessarily fun, but I mean, but you started doing like the day of stuff when like you had more at home, right? Like when, when you had the kids and everything? Uh, you know, I, I, to be honest, I think I just lucked out because Austin is so central and most places I could fly in the morning of. And plus also, you know, if you take the first flight out in the morning, your odds of a delay are way, oh. way lower. No, 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 no. I know this because it is, it is a way of life in San Francisco where the fog routinely screws stuff. So it's like, oh, if, yeah. if you want to be guaranteed to get out and especially cross country stuff, which is not this, but uh, cross country stuff, you need to do it because otherwise like that's like a day. And if you're like on that kind of schedule, you need to do it uh, first thing in the morning. Then it's also like, it's a pain in the ass like to do it, but like it's always worth it. It's never not worth it on the other end. And, and in fact, it's yeah. often like- Well, and, and, and here's, the, here's the weird part is, you know, yeah, you only get four hours of sleep that night, but, but perversely there's this sweet spot where the less sleep you get, the easier it is to fall asleep on the plane. And then it's, you know, where it's like, like to me, I kind of don't want to get more than five and a half hours of sleep. Cause if I do, I get on the plane and I just sit there trying to fall asleep and I feel like a dumbass the entire time. Whereas, you know, if it's less than four hours, then it's like I stumble like a zombie and then I sleep for a good two or three hours on the flight. And the, the real key is just being able to do that drive barely functioning, right? Now yes. I'm not gonna say, there's a lot of stuff like, you know, like in like, you read about like things that we know in medical history about the human body and they like came from like really dark, now illegal experiments by, you know, uh, by regimes Germans. that have long since been discredited. Uh, that's very. Yeah. That's a very weird and unflattering shot of uh, Patrick D. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say that that drive of 25% functionality is made better because of all the drunk driving I've done in my life. Uh, I'm just gonna say I'm like glad. I'm territory. glad I'm as good at it as I am. <laughs> Got it. God, it's amazing. Uh, Patrick uh, D or Patrick's D, am I right? <laughs> dude, we want the D, the Patrick D. Uh, so uh, if people are watching this in diamondclub.tv, throw me a little, uh, a little deedle. Hey, uh, I couldn't, uh, oh, I don't know if someone switched it over. There was a problem with it earlier. Uh, we flipped it over to the, the daily motion and it didn't work. It was a bummer. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it, it played like an old thing. Like of us testing it. But it looks like this is good now. Yeah, there it is. Right on. Cool. Uh, yeah, man. More stuff coming with that uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, I hope people dig it. Cause... Yeah, like I dig you. Like I dig your face with my fingernails, pulling out your eyeballs and eating them, and then spitting on you like I'm greater than you. I've eaten your face. Give me more bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new favorite bit. <laughs> Interpretive mime of Brian's fever dreams. 
You want to go here? Go ahead. Just go and go and do one, and I'll, I'll act it out. Oh, jeez. Uh, <clears throat> give me a give me a place. Uh, no, I think it's good if it, if it starts off as like a true. A, a, a true thing, right? Like, let's say. Well, no, uh, it is a it is a true thing because I was closing the window and all of a sudden it just shattered, and then I freaking slit on my finger and it started bleeding all down. And I held it up and it's like I'm squeezing it into a fist because I don't want. You know, I'm trying to stop the bleeding and then I put it in my mouth and then, but then it just gushes with blood and then that's when you're aware that this is more blood than should be coming out. And so you 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 screw you, you squeeze it and you 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 I don't know you rip off your shirt and you try to throw a bandage on it. Or whatever, and then your daughter walks in and sees you, and it's all confusing. <laughs> and you're embarrassed. And so you tell her to get out because you're ashamed of your blood and you're messing up the drapes. <laughs> and you just want. All right, I'm done. This is a bit. <laughs> you have an amazing sense of like building because it's like, I don't think the story got any more outrageous, but just the, 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 the mime became more epic. <laughs> As I kept going, uh, I feel like this is this is a bit we like to call gift factory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop off the line. Uh, that was awesome, and uh, and and to be honest, it's like. It, it, it made it less funny. It, we meant for it to be funny, but then like just seeing all these earnest tweets of congratulations, like really kind of like messed with me. I was like, no, oh, I'll tell wow, you, I, I sense you. that. Cause I know, I mean, we, we talk a lot. I, I feel like I have, a, I have a good sense of your personality, but like at some point that outpouring became special in a way that wasn't funny. And I wish we yeah. would have had a way to kind of encapsulate that, but I think that it, it, it was our one weakness, the one thing we never thought of. No, yeah, I mean, like, it, it's, it's hard, it's hard when, when that show, which is kind of like, and I feel like we've been on a run of these where it's like, it's really going at like a frenetic kind of pace, you know? Right. And then it's hard to be like, and now here's some real emotion that we would like to share. And like, to have it not come off as weird or like you're you're parodying it, which I know you didn't want to do because it meant yeah. a lot to you, you know? Did uh, did you see, oh man, did you see some science that got dropped on your face? Your melty face? On my face? Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Uh, so in the pre-show links for like stuff to try, somebody just dropped a little something called Top Secret, and I have no idea who made it or what it was, but when I clicked on it, Little thing looked like this, and uh, what? And it looked like. Oh yes, no, I, I. Do, uh, do you know who that is? I believe that was Andrew Mays. Oh wow! Not right Andrew Main, but Andrew Mays. Um, it was Andrew Mays, according to the chat. Which knows so, everything. Yeah, no. Uh, so Dan Dirk. Toilet bug nailed it. Toilet bug nailed it. He said, you got compliment bombed, Brian. And I was like, I, I'm like, our own game. And I was like, I was, I was affected by it in a way I didn't trust. Um, so yeah, listen. Uh, all right, basically, if anybody's watching this and doesn't know what we're talking about, diamondclub.tv, you can go there right now. It is going to be the one-stop shop where people can be able to see all of the disparate projects that us and a few handful of our closest friends uh, work on, uh, it will automatically change, which it's basically the way, a skin. It's, a, it's, way, it's basically our own bitly, basically, where it just it automatically skins and forms. So there's a couple yeah. other things that, that we will reveal with DiamondClub.tv that kind of make it special, and there's a reason why we had to redo it. But uh, I had, uh, I was at, I'm here at Twit, obviously, and I have Patrick Delahenty walk by his office, and he's like, hey, uh, come here, I want to show you something. And he goes, he's like, uh, so I'm at NSFWshow.com and, uh, oh, look, it's a menu. Oh, look, I can just change to all these different embeds. Oh, wait a minute, if I want to change the chat. Oh, look at this, I can just change the chat really easy in these embeds. Like huh. I've been doing this for two years. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> uh, and now listen. There's a lot of other things, and part of what, what is cool about DiamondClub.tv is that it refreshes instantly, and, and there's a lot of other cool things. But just so we know, just so we know, uh, that that ability has been at our disposal on a website with our name on it for literally two years. 
I'm a terrible person. Uh, no. We, we're terrible people. We are terrible. Yes, exactly. Correct, Demundo. We both stink <laughs> like a baboon's butt. Um, well, I guess we won't have, unfortunately, time to break down a music video because I had this one queued up. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just say we'll have to save this one for another day. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm... I'm back over the weekend. I think we should do another another night attack, sneak attack uh, live stream sometime soon. We could do that. Uh, when are we going to release the next track on the night attack three? Uh, I RSS? mean, uh, I think we need to have Zach cut it out from the thing. Oh, uh, uh, which are are we thinking DDY? Yes. I the funny thing <laughs> is, I remember so little of that recording. Um, already, <laughs> but I, 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 you mentioned that to me and I'm really into it. So yes. Uh, yeah. All right. DDY uh, is pretty so, right, so if, if I'll, I'll, I'll shoot a thing to Zach on that. <laughs> I'm suddenly remembering that stuff. I guess we should get that out since that's only going to get less relevant, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, now's the time to get DDY out. Oh my God. Yeah. We should do that as soon as we can. Uh, oh, oh, you want to get on the mailing list for the Night Attack stuff? Is that on NSFWShow.com, Patrick? Yeah. I gave you that inbound. Yeah, slash album. Yeah. Uh, NSFWShow.com slash album. Album. Uh, yeah, man. Listen, 2014. Two, zero, one, four. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. There we go. Attaboy, Padre. All right, guys. Love you. Shut out the stream. Bye. Tonight we're gonna party like it's 2414.